Well, it's one of the oldest residences in the city. It's, it was started about uh, the mid-1800s, was finished about 1930. Witter Benner was a sometimes writer and all the time homosexual. He hosted many notable folks like Errol Flynn and Rita Hayworth during lavish parties at the house. There would be naked people, sex, very homosexual, all over the grounds here. It was legendary. And it's one of those things that makes you wonder, hmm, maybe those were the good old days. We started it out, our intent was to make it a, a, a gay and lesbian resort, but that doesn't work out too well in Santa Fe because people come to Santa Fe for a different reason. Santa Fe offers a lot of relaxation, art, music, a lot of cultural events, Indian and Native American uh, ruins, and the romance and the quiet and the solitude. Santa Fe is very much is a city that is known as the city different, and, and it celebrates diversity. Gays and lesbians are, are welcomed here. Uh, there was actually an article in the Santa Fe magazine recently that being gay and lesbian in Santa Fe and as a Santa Fe visitor, the story there was that there was no story. Your orientation and who you are really doesn't matter. It's, 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 there's just, it's just not an issue. We have 10 guest rooms with 11 bedrooms, all with uh, fireplaces with the exception of one, wood-burning fireplaces. There's a large two-bedroom suite. The rate uh, that you pay each day includes parking or wireless internet access, a full cook to order hot breakfast and our afternoon social hour with wine and cheese, and the ability to get to play with our puppy dogs. 